Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure. Last time we finally met the Voodoo Man we were able to get the fishy doll for Priscilla and we made our way to Fishmouth and then we started playing as Detective uh, Katype. We were kidnapped by a cult and had to start making our escape. So that's where we are in the middle of this escape. So I'm gonna hit the continue button and we're going to be on our way. Okay, so... Let's see here. I know I should focus on my escape, but that hatch leading up to God knows what is way too tempting to ignore. What are these starry... starry kooks up to? What are they hiding up there? It must be a way to pass... get past that metal hatch. And... I remember last time they said this was good for one more thing, so we're going to try and, like... Yeah, that would make one steady, guided, fire-extinguishing rocket. But I need something to fasten it to the rail. Wait, so... Hmm, yeah, but not in my pocket. Okay, so maybe on the rail? All right, made a nice little sliding hook thing halfway there. Okay, that should do it, right? There we go. Hey. One radical red-hot ram rocket ready to go. So... It's ready, steady, and aimed. Fire! Hey, there we go. Awesome. I hope I've done you proud, Mac Viper. Alright, let's go. Okay, so what all do we have in here? A diary? This looks like some kind of diary or log of some kind. Whoa! That seemed to make a lot of things happen at once. <laughs> all right, let's see now. October 13th. It's so hard to get accustomed to the sickening stench of this dreadful fishing town, but apparently it's important to him that we establish our base here, so we just take it. Decorating, coming along nicely. No end to the work. A lot of long and boring entries follow. Seems like some kind of complicated records. Let me skip ahead a bit. Let's see. July 6th. We're all accustomed to the stench. It's probably imbued in everyone by now. Summon the haunter, and he came in a flickering form of a tall, swarthy man with skin made of ebony. Ignored my words and asked for the book, then disappeared upon my answer. We must find it. No matter what. July 13th. His incomplete form is frustrating. Must find the book. We must find it. That idiot Bright left the hatch open and Lumen snuck up here into the summoning chamber to try to get the haunter's mark. What did the fool think would happen? We don't even bother storing their ashes in the urn anymore. Just leave them there as a reminder to anyone stupid enough to try that again. August 6th. Sister Halo's matchstick hobby proved to come in handy. Praise the Haunter! I could scarcely believe my senses when at last she finalized the structure and Brothers Bright and Gleam dropped the cannonball on it. Not only did it not destroy what she built, but it lodged itself in the circular space above the stone and is exerting such pressure on the lattice work that you can take a shovel to it and it won't cave in. It's good to have some smart people join the ranks for a change. Only she and I know how to breach it and get to the stone, so that should at least keep our numbers from dropping. August 7th. Private investigator making waves in Darkham, looking for leads on the book. Might be a dark blessing in disguise. We just stay on his tail and track him to see if he digs up any leads. The book? The Necronomicon? Is that me they're talking about? August 13th. Rejoicing! It's very possible that the hostess's fetch dog has sniffed out the book. Time to retire him and go for the prize ourselves. Hostess. Why did that sound familiar? Anyway, that crazily angled stone. I wanted it. If only to get back at these star-obsessed maniacs. Okay, well, we have new books, so let's check them out. It's the first book in a row. An arcane symbol adorns its cover. Okay. I've opened it at its bookmark. The stone from the stars is a window on all time and space. It is within it that the haunter sleeps while the yellow sun reigns. 
and it is from its circular gate that the haunter's incomplete form rises when the words are spoken. Nor shall he ever rise in his true form until the forbidden book be by his side. No end to the work. All right, let's check out the second one. It's the second book in a row. There's some kind of symbol on its cover, and that's about it. I've opened it at its bookmark. It is known that touching the stone from the stars might cast upon a mortal being the mark of the hunter. But none should do it unless prepared to face his cold black flames and turn to ashes and dust. No living soul can know whom the haunter chooses to mark and grant vision beyond time and place. No end to the work. Hmm. Okay. It's the third book in a row. The cover consists entirely of a weird symbol. Have you noticed these things lighting up? Are changing as I read these. Interesting. Let's see. I've opened oh, it at yep, its bookmark. There we go. For the butcher is the end of all, and the followers of him who lingers in the night's threshold must keep the slaying one from ever setting eye or laying hand upon the book. The butcher brings but the rest is unreadable. The butcher. Huh. That's new. Whoa. Okay. Apparently just reading it was enough. More tar stains, though. Looks like these cuckoo birds tried to tar up the windows and failed miserably. I've played with tar enough for today. Let's check out what was in the diary that we just updated. I believe my way out is through the, that cracked surface in the wall. I just need the right kind of tool with the right kind of properties. That is very hard and swingable. Tried to mess with the starry flag, but I can't seem to break it loose. Judging by what I've, judging by what I've read, that strange trapezohedron thing is of great importance to these lunatics. Tit for tat, they kidnap me and deny me footwear symmetry. I take their precious stone. Mama, Mama type didn't raise no pushover. Wait, what the heck? I don't even know what I just clicked. Um, what all do we have? Okay. Uh, there's an urn, a droid, lattice work, intense light beams. These dummies tried their best to tear the windows up, but an intense orange light symbolically shines through. Yeah, I know I don't get enough vitamin D, but this is not the time or place. Okay. Urn. The inscription above it says, Here lie in ashes, all brothers and sisters foolish enough to think that the stone from the stars chose them to be marked by the haunter. I have no use for former cultists, in ash form or not. Okay, let's see what's in the drawer then. There's a drawer underneath this urn thing. Inside the dusty drawer, there was one solitary rusty spoon. Unwritten private investigator wisdom says you never know when you could use a rusty spoon. Okay, then. Um... Lattice work? Yep. A delicate and intricate lattice work of what looked to be matches, surrounding some jagged, shimmering stone and somehow supporting the kind of cannonball what looks like it was made to bring down battleships. I realize how crazy that sounds, yet here it is before me. Hmm. Me Biting my lip, eyes half closed with anticipation, I flicked my finger at one match, then another. The apparently fragile construction proved to be impervious to my attempts at unbalancing it. <laughs> there it was damn cheap. good engineering when you needed it the least. The structure would not collapse, no matter what. Okay. Um, let's see. It's a strange, self-illuminating trip, 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 trap, tra mm, weirdly angled rock thing. Okay, grab the dubious the match constructed yeah. security structure won't let me get my hands on it. Strange symbol. That's some kind of a cult scratch. Looks to symbolize that shine rock on the pedestal. It's just a drawing. Eerie, but a drawing. 
Okay. I examined the darkened stone altar that held the trapezohedron. Creepy thing. Unusual markings adorned all sides of it. No idea how they got it up here, but I'm not budging it. That much is obvious. A pretty martial-looking cannonball suspended somehow above that glowing rock by some order of matchstick engineering genius. It's held in place firmly by the matches structure. Quite impressive and unmovable. Hmm. Let's check out the. Looks to be quite powerful. Telescope. I don't think I can pry it out with my bare hands. Ooh, I know what we can. Maybe. Let's find out. I carefully placed the spoon in between the lens and the metal covering and. Hey! Voila! The lens was now mine. Okay. So we have a filthy lens? I got this convex lens from that huge telescope. It's filthy. <sighs> hey! We've been trying to clean things all over the place with that rag, and it finally came in handy. Okay, so... Hmm... Hmm. Maybe... It bathes the crazy matchstick structure in a warm glow that strikingly contrasts with the whole starry death cult thing. If it's warm, perhaps... Hey! Sweet. Well, let's take it now. I most certainly did not burst into cold black flames. So much for this numbskull cult credibility. It did feel, uh, weird. Weird. What do we do with the cannonball, though? Can we do anything with it? Or is it just I one I think of those? I can pick it up now. Oh! Cannonball! Let's see, we got our updated diary. Okay, tried to mess with the scary flag, but I can't seem to break it loose. Got the stone. Did not expire by touching it, but it feels so strange. Could this weird rock be of any use to me? Well, let's, uh, let's go downstairs, see if we can use the... Uh, Oh, hey, now we've got the cannonball. We might be heavy enough for this to work. Let's see. All right, I am now one cannonball heavier. Let's see what happens. Hey, we got it. That was a first. And a last. <laughs> okay. Um... Hmm... Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here, but it seems that they don't think too highly of that Gleam guy either. It's the crazily angled rock I lifted off these star heads. I hope I'm wrong, but I feel like it's somehow working on me. Damn. Hmm. Okay, well... I did it again! Going to hit the freaking spacebar and hit the Windows button again by accident. Oh, crap. Hey, that's new. Flagpole. It's the former standard. No, it's just a flagpole. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we can pry this. No use here. Open? No? Okay. Well, any information? Anyway, you boil it. That right there is your standard garden variety pole. Can we turn it into like a staff or something? It would almost fit, but it'd be too loose. I need it firmly stuck in there. Oh, oh. 
I believe my way out is through that cracked surface in the wall. Just need the right kind of tool, the right kind of properties. Blah, 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 blah. Got the stone. Blah, blah, blah. Tried to combine the plank, but it didn't stick. You know what? We know where there's some sticky tar, so we're gonna go over there. Okay, so... Let's get this stick, uh, sticky. Sticky? Ha 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 Okay, can we not? Hey! It worked! Sweet! Okay, so now we're just going to... Head over this way. And then... Barricaded door! Barricaded from the other side. To... Makes sense that they'd shut me in here. But it seems that they don't think too highly of that Gleam guy, either. Okay. Well... well I'm trying to click this action. Sledgehammer, okay. I could, but there's something in here that I could take down much faster. Oh, the wall, that's right. There's just one thing I want to say before I do it. That you can give up essential liberty to attain a little temporary security. Hammer time! Oh. Well, okay then. And the crystal fell down. Sewer. Fantastic. And our hand started glowing. All right, you two, here we are. Ugh. Just call me when you need my services. I'm getting as far away from this dump as possible. See yous. Yeah, thanks. So, here we are, kitty. Fishmouth. <sighs> Is this foul, rotting sea life odor in any way mouth-watering to you? Please, it's sickening, and I'd literally rather be anywhere else right now, but we've got a job to do. Let's find Finman's before we revisit my lunch and dinner. Okay, achievement unlocked, hook, line, and stinker. All right, well, we made it to Fishmith, so I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, he's going to go ahead and start walking. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this a good video. We uh, found the crystal, got out of the temple, and we're starting a new adventure in Fishmith. And Kitty is walking over to... Looks like mess with a dog or something? No, okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive.